Well, glory to God. Here we are, Jesus' experience. I'm Dr. Gary Whetstone, and Pastor Chris Aquiti is with us, and we are having an awesome yeah. time recognizing we are joint heirs with Jesus, an heir of God. We are the rightful recipient of the inheritance we're born again to. So tonight, fasten your seatbelts. We're going to take a journey into what is rightfully yours by the grace of God. Pastor Chris, mm -hmm. why don't you pray? Let's get free Father, we get thank focused. you tonight. We take everything in our humanity that will stop us from hearing tonight. We declare it is ended. You took us, ended us in the sacrifice of Jesus thank and you. raised us in resurrection to an inheritance on the file that faded not away, reserved in yes, heaven for us. God, and tonight, our Kaylee hearts, Bando our so ears, Kodosha, our spirit Kodosha. is open to hear all that you've ordained for our lives before the foundation of the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You it's know, a, over the, since Sunday, we've been dealing with the reality that as Joshua took the children of Israel that were highly frustrated, mm. all they knew is where they came from Absolutely. and where they were. They were frustrated that they couldn't go back to where they were right. and where they lived every day was mm. not where they were called to. So wow. they lived in a constant drone of negativity. Wow. And as a result, there had to be a new interception, yes, a new intercept in their heart to move them from where they came from, where they were today, to the fulfillment of what God has spoken they were to inherit. And they were to walk in to the promised land. And a complete shift happened when Joshua heard from God, Moses, my servant is dead. Wow. Arise and grow over this Jordan, for you must cause this people to inherit, inherit. and divide for them an inheritance. So, Pastor Chris, yes, you and I are given to people to see that what is given them by God's grace is unlocked within them. Absolutely. And if it's not unlocked, we're not satisfied. No. You, you know, the, the reality that we've been given a new nature, and in that nature contains everything that God ordained for our lives, before the foundation of the earth is, is given. You know, it's like you have a seed and you know that seed must be planted so that it can come into fruition and bring a harvest. And, and, and to see somebody hold on to that seed and not plant that seed and watch it grow and fulfill what God had ordained for it, it's like we got to get this and we got to see this manifest. You know, I, I just you're talking about a seed and... Mm. You know, Jesus said, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you'll say to this mountain, be cast and go into the, to, to there and right. it'll obey you. Right. And you think about the power, of a seed the power of a seed and its ability to overtake, break through rocks, break through mm. resistance, because wow. in and of itself is the life of the entire multiplication of that tree. Absolutely. And just as the seed, the word of God entered us is mm -hmm. God's life. We're born again of the incorruptible seed, the word of God that lives and abides forever. Mm -hmm. We are born of the same nature and we reproduce the same nature. Absolutely. So we do not bring into the kingdom of God our humanity. No, <laughs> which is what we sometimes try to do or we, we keep focus on our humanity and we are, it's like we're asking God change my humanity you know I always right. think about Abraham not being able to he says God you've given me no seed you know he was focused on the conflict of his humanity That's and right. God had to break him out to say I need to take you to what I've ordained yeah, for your step life step out of the tent look up now look, <laughs> count the stars if you're able to number, number them, them so shall your seed my be. God yep. because I've already made you he didn't say I will make you because sometimes we have this mindset that God is trying to make us something, but he's trying to bring us into what he's already made us. You know, and if we can see what's already made, like that seed, that mango seed has a mango tree in it. It's not trying to, That's right. it's not trying to become something. You know, the farmer knows that in this seed is everything it takes to be a mango tree. It, it's in this seed is everything it takes to produce a mango fruit. The farmer has that confidence. And that's the same confidence, I believe, 
from what you're sharing and what you've been teaching for decades now is that we got to come to the reality that there is a seed in us that's infused with the life of God. And once it breaks forth, then nothing can hold it back. You, you know, you think about Joshua. He, he had that promise, mm. saw that that promise was to manifest. Right. 40 years, 40 years fought in battles mm. where Moses' arms got weak. Wow. He would lose the battle. Mm. And so he knew that it wasn't about his ability. Wow. It was about God's. God's ability. And so every victory that Joshua won in the wilderness when they fought mm. was won because of God's intervention. Wow. It wasn't won because he was a great warrior. Wow. Yeah. And so in that, He's training Joshua and God brings him before Moses and God speaks, tell Joshua, mm -hmm. I'm making of you a great nation. I'm building you for this purpose. Wow. And so this is our life. Yes. We are in an experience with Jesus so that we can receive from him what he is to us. Amen. And being an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus. Now, just mm -hmm. what did Jesus inherit when he ascended? Mm. What did he inherit? He says, all heaven and earth has been given unto me. Everything that is in heaven and earth has been given unto me, you know? He inherited everything. Everything. <laughs> he inherited all time. All time. He inherited everything that exists. Wow. He inherited the authority over all principality, yeah, power, might, dominion, every name that is named, yeah. not only in this world, mm. but in the new heaven and new earth wow. that God's going to create. So this inheritance we have is so limitless, wow. so boundless, wow. so unrestrained. And so we've got the scriptures of, of the Old Testament that, mm. that give you a picture of how Joshua in a few years took the Israelites into inheritance. And I just want to read the scripture. Yes, sir. It says, oh, I, I love this. In verse 14 of Joshua 23, it says, And behold, this day I'm going the way of all the earth, and you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all yeah. the good things which the Lord your God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Wow. Just consider hmm. Joshua at the end of his life. He died at 110 years old. Wow. He said, Every single promise manifested. Every single promise. You know in your heart, you know in your emotion, mm -hmm. you know in your will, you know it all got delivered in a few short years. Wow. Is it now that God is giving you the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Is it now that God is pulling the curtain back to the inheritance that belongs to you? Is it now that you are seeing that you're not just righteous in the presence of God, mm. but that you have a functional execution of the word of righteousness so that you can, by exercising it, be qualified for the meat of the word of God, the execution of what God has delegated to you and said, now is your time now is the time now is your time you step into all that he's done all that he's spoken and you you, you step into it now joshua did he did right he and said he said everything everything nothing failed nothing failed not one thing and the amazing thing pastor to think about the people that we're talking about people that have been in slavery for uh, uh 400 years in the wilderness for 40 years, and now there's a shifting. You know, there's a shifting from all the complaints and, right. and, and all the, the way of thinking that they have inherited in the past, and now they're shifting into inheritance. They, they're coming from a place of labor where they've labored for everything. They come from a place where they look for manna and all that stopped, and now they're stepping into a whole place that was totally prepared for them by God. And nothing failed. Nothing failed. 
you are in a place in Christ that nothing fails. Amen. God never intended one day of defeat for your life. Wow. Listen to this scripture. Pastor Chris and I were just talking about this before we went on our program tonight. It says, uh, this is Romans chapter 4. It says, oh my goodness, it's hard to start anywhere. Verse 12, let's start in verse 12. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk by the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had yet being uncircumcised, for the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect, because the law works wrath. For where there's no law, there's no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace, to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed." not only to them that are of the law, but also that which are the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. What is the inheritance? That the earth was his inheritance. Wow. He was the heir of the world. Of the world. Hmm. Now, Joshua later took possession of a property of the world. Right. But Abraham, by the faith of God in him, knew the entirety of the world belonged to him. Belonged to him. We read in Romans chapter 8 this morning in our program where mm. it says the whole creation is subject to vanity, but God subjected it with hope mm. that it would be delivered from its bondage or corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Wow. And so just like Abraham on the earth, knew the earth was his ownership, hmm. we know the earth is our ownership and it is liberated by us. Hmm. It's not liberated by corporations wow. or governments. It's not liberated by big industry hmm. or big pharma, pharmacology or genomes. It's liberated by us. Wow. Now, Pastor Chris, yes, you have the key hmm. to unlock creation's complete fulfillment. Yes, sir. You have the key to stop the enemy from ever having access to infiltrate and operate in any dimension. Wow. You have the key to speak and call something that be not as though it was. Hmm. So your words bring it into manifestation. Wow. You have the spirit that is from God that you might know the things that are freely given to you of God wow. so that you are the instrument by which God executes his rightful domain oh, and yeah. dominion in the earth. Hmm. You're it. I'm it. I am. <laughs> You're it. I am it. I'm his voice speaking on the earth. And, and you are also. And... and, and, and we're talking about our mindset changing, the way we think just changing. Because if, if it doesn't, how we think doesn't change, then how we speak will, will remain the same. We always speak from a place of not having enough, of not being enough. You're talking about walking into an environment, then you say, this belongs to me. Right, yep. You know, it's like, because there's, there's, there's the mindset where you walk into a place and the environment knows that you're looking for it to give you something. You, yep. You're expecting it to give you something. Then this way of thinking is that you walk into an environment and you say, this belongs to me. So that dynamic mm. is a total shift in feeling inferior right. to anyone or anything. or anything. Right. So you do not have a subordinate position mm. Because that's what inferiority is. It's right. where you're subordinate. You are under the influence of, you are inferior to right. something else, either opulence or mm. 
a jet or a car or mm. uh, or some way the way somebody looks, somebody's prettier, somebody's skinnier. It, yeah, this, you know, it's it, like <laughs> white people want to get darker, right? And dark people want <laughs> to get lighter. Like, uh, it's know. like, wait a minute, what is the deal here? Right. I mean, there's tanning beds all right. over the place, over to, the get, place. to give it, white people skin cancer. You know, I mean, it's like <laughs> and there's bleaching cream to. Get. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and. And it's all because of what our eyes see mm. that we're not satisfied with what we see. Wow. But what we are to see is that we rule the environment. Wow. Wow. You know, I, I was, I was uh, sharing with someone the other day how the conflicts are many. And sometimes we face the conflict and we become a reflection of it. As opposed to realizing that we were created in the image of God and if I can behold his image in every environment I'm in, then I can walk in dominion. That's you know, right. but once I come under the conflict, when I once I come under the problem, then I'm already doomed. I'm already under. I'm just it's like I'm going, I'm sinking and I'm asking God, pull me up, you know? But yep. when I'm focused on him, then I'm able to reign in whatever environment I find myself. I mean, that's, that's exactly like Paul writes in, in 1 Corinthians, I believe it's 4. He says, we all be holding in a mirror yeah, the glory, glory of, of God. The Lord, and we're changed into the so same image. So I look at the glory of God when I see me. Mm. I see the I, glory I of God. I see the glory of God. So yes. somebody says, who are you? I'm the glory, I'm of, the God. glory of God. I'm the joy of the Lord. Mm. I'm his rejoicing. I I'm see. his fulfillment. I am. Yes. I am his celebration. Amen. I Amen. mean then I'm not looking at me like, well, I want to become. Mm. I had a gentleman ask me, what do I see myself doing in the latter years of my life? And I said, oh, it's very simple. Mm. I see myself operating, orchestrating, and having dominion over everything that's put before me wow. and operating multiple dominions of, of operation and delegating it to tens of thousands of people. Mm. What do you see? Mm. He said, well, I just want to please the Lord. <laughs> I said, no, I am pleasing to God. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm not, 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 I am pleased. In fact, I am the joy of the Lord. Wow. So like his position was, I want to do something, something. that will please God. Mm. My position is I am already pleasing wow. God. So now it's time to have dominion in what I'm pleasing him right. in. My activities are not to get into right standing with God. And, and which is where a lot of us, live we're trying to do something we're trying to uh how do i do something so that something can be released to me as opposed to it's already been released and now let me go and function so that is not just a statement mm. that is an existence yes, sir. it's already released now let's go function mm. you know when i was born i was born a person absolutely my mouth knew to eat, mm. my eyes knew to, to see, see yeah. my ears knew to hear, right. my nose knew to smell, no, right. my feeling knew to, to feel, feel pain, right. a good sense. I mean, it already was all there. Mm. I didn't have to become a human being. No. I was born one. born one. So I'm born again a child of God. Mm. I don't have to become a child of God. No. I am one. You are one. I am what I am said I am. Amen. Amen. And now I'm operating. In it. So I want you tonight to come to grips with you are. Absolutely. You're an heir of this world. The world is your inheritance. Mm. Speak it. Speak it. I think that's a great place to begin. You know, even with all the arguments that speak it. When you don't feel like you are who God says you are, speak it. Wake up speaking it. You know, it's like, you say, but I've been speaking it for three months. Speak it for six months. Speak it until it becomes your experience. Don't quit speaking it. So you and I are on a supernatural journey. This week in particular, God had put in my spirit <coughs> to take the single focus of inheritance and abundance in God that is our rightful recipient nature as an heir and a joint heir with Jesus. And reckon this is my life. Mm. I am now so wealthy 
Mm. I am now so healthy. Wow. I am now so sound in mind. Mm. I am now so accepted. I am accepted. I am now so fulfilled. I am fulfilled. I'm now so joyful. I am joyful. I am now so peaceful. I am peaceful. Glory to God. That nothing is an attempt or a try or a want. To become. It is a state of being. Absolutely. Now from that being, we operate. Mm. There was a gentleman that, that shared something with me the other day. And he said to me, he said he was with someone that he, he wanted to increase his, his scope of influence in okay. the world. And the person said to him, you have to spend more. Mm. And his mind went immediately, I don't have the money to mm. spend more. Right. And the guy said, spend more. And he said, I, he said, don't you say a word. <laughs> He said, you want to operate in more influence, spend more. The guy went away. He said, don't you? Because he was, the first thing he was going to say, I don't have. have. Right, right. And so what the man was saying is take from what you have and use it. Wow. So he went out from there and bought a software company. Mm with no money. Wow. He spent other people's failures wow. and created a whole new dimension. He said, God, how do I spend what I don't oh, have? Wait a minute. I do. How do I spend from what I do have? have. What do I have? Mm. So now there's an opening from... It, exactly. Wow. And now that I have it, I can spend from it mm. and everything shifted everything wow. shifted wow. the whole dynamic shifted mm. hope you're watching tonight it's a shifting there is a shifting yeah because you know you're just talking about you know i could see people stuck in that mindset i, I when you said said spend more i mean they didn't say i, I don't have it exactly you know, I, I don't have it and, and that becomes your comfort, com confession. I don't have it. Exactly. And because you say you don't have it, then you're definitely not going to function. You know, so you, you're stuck in what he has redeemed you from that's not having. And, and now you just had the revelation, I do have it. Exactly. I do have it. I, and now I can spend from it. I can it. spend from it. I can spend from it. So... I can give from it. Mm. I can multiply from it. Right. I can increase from it. Wow. It's like, you know, you recognize I am holy. I can live from it. Right. I am rich. I be, can live from be it. Holy. Be as holy he as, holy as he is holy, you know? So how do you be holy? I am holy. I am holy. And until you receive that, then you can't function in it. Let the weak say... say I am, I am strong. strong. Let the poor say, I'm I am rich. rich. Now, why? Because you are. You are. And mm. the greatest unveiling in this entire dynamic of being mm. is in the consciousness of speaking. of speaking. And if we speak it, and since we speak it, and when we speak it, we engage calling those things that be not as though they were. Right. So I walk into environments hmm. and I know I may have a hundred dollars, but I walk in negotiating for tens of millions. Because hmm. you're not, you're not, you're not functioning from yourself. You're not functioning from your account. You're functioning from God's account. God's account. So I want you to get this mind in you that was also in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 
that he's on the same plane with the same access, heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus, have this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He called God his father. Mm. And the religious people went to kill him. They wanted to kill him, yes. We call God our father. Mm. And then the religious mind says, but you're still human. You're still human, right. (laughs) It keeps you stuck in your humanity, you know. But God says, Mm. you are what I called you to be. You are what I called you to be. He's made us, he made us in his image. And we have to accept, declare, decree, and, and, and walk in that identity. Paul says, I have believed, therefore I have spoken. He said, we believe and therefore we speak. You know, he, he also said, all the promises of God in him mm-hmm. are yes, yes. and amen, amen wow. to the glory of God by us. Amen. Now, you think about Joshua. He mm-hmm. said, everything that was promised, you know in your heart and in your soul, everything's come to pass. Everything. Paul writes, all the promises by me, Sylvanus, and Timothy mm-hmm. are yes, yes and amen. amen. Every, everything God spoke is yes. Mm. It is, so it is. So it is. It is, yes, it is, so it is. Mm. It is, yes, it's so it is. Somebody says, I'm sick. It is, yes, you're healed. healed. So you're healed. Somebody Somebody, says, I'm poor. It's, yes, you're rich. You're rich. He became poor that you through his poverty might be made rich. You say, but look at, no. (laughs) We don't look. (laughs) We don't look at what we see. We look at what he said. You're rich. And so that shift is so supernatural. Mm. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m., I'm taking you on a biblical journey of God being abundant God. That means you are abundant air. Hmm. Thursday night, we're taking pastors and leaders from the area, people from Victory, Jesus Experience, around the world online. And we're going into practical application of power to transfer wealth in order to establish his covenant. Not so that we can have the wealth. We already have the wealth. Mm. We must use the wealth. Amen. Do, do you know everybody has the exact same minutes in every day? Exactly. Everybody does. <laughs> everybody has the exact same minutes in every day. Mm. One person uses those minutes wow. and hundreds of millions of dollars transferred and move in those minutes. Mm. Other person sits in absolute squalor wondering how am I going to get my next meal? And God's no respecter of persons. He's not. There is a huge chasm of deficit Mm. in a way a man thinks. As a man thinks in his heart, So so is he. So, I'm charging you with everything inside of me. Mm. Be with us throughout the course of these 10 o'clock daily meetings that I'm holding every day, Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m., then Wednesday night and Thursday night. Don't miss. This, which we're speaking tonight, is your life. Amen. It may seem so contrary to your experience, But your experience must be a Jesus experience. Amen. 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 That's that's it. Our experience must be his life, not anything else. You know, you think about, I was sharing with someone, you think about Gideon. He was hiding from the Philistines in the wine press. And God said to him, you're a mighty man of valor. That has to be a major shift in thinking. Here I am, cowardly hiding from the Philistines, and I hear God call me a mighty man of valor. Yep. You know. And he, God says, surely you'll smite them. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding poor, from them. <laughs> I'm the poorest of my house in my Manasseh. God. I, where are the miracles? I mean, I heard about them. Why are <laughs> All the questions. 
but he went ahead, and, and that's what God is saying to us. We embrace what he's called us, we embrace what he's made us, and collectively, I think there's an amazing function for the body of Christ. This is your time. Mm -hmm. This is your time. I want to pray with you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for supernatural eyesight. Yes, Lord. God, I pray for revelation, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, that the eyes of our understanding you, are enlightened. Amen. We know the hope to which we're called and what the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints. God, open our eyes to see so we are not limited, we're not restrained, we're not intimidated, we're not bound. We are liberated, we are inaugurated, and we are sent forth on a supernatural mission to bring this earth to its knees, yes, to declare Jesus Christ yes, is Lord. Lord. Amen. Father, we give you praise Hallelujah. for the great grace of God that abounds through revelation knowledge in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We want to thank every one of you that are sowing faithfully into yes. Jesus' experience, thank so you. sacrificially. Today, we're building a global learning platform so that this experience can become the standard mm. of every believer, of every pastor, yes. in every place in all the earth. Amen. It is God's time for this kingdom of God to manifest on earth. You sowing into Jesus' experience is making it work, Amen. not just for you, but for multitude of others that have never heard. God bless you. We love Amen. you. I'll see you tomorrow morning, tomorrow night.